Okay, a rather lengthy update on the Polaris Razor 900. Um, PEG makes two different versions of the, the Razor. They make a 12 volt and a 24 volt version. Um, I bought this one as a 24 volt that had been converted from a 12 volt, and the previous owner only uh, added an extra battery to it to bump it up to 24 volts. <coughs> um, I didn't really like that because it had absolutely no control and all it did was blow the tires off of it and it actually scared my daughter. She just really didn't like to screw with it because um, it was too fast. Another problem with it was uh, the gas pedal was actually way too far up for her so she couldn't actually reach the gas most of the time. So I don't, I don't really think she found a lot of joy in driving this thing a lot. But, um, <clears throat> I did some mods to it and I think she'll actually enjoy it now. So we've got three batteries in here. I got two. 12 amp hour, um, 12 volt batteries in there running in uh, series, so they're 24 volt. And then I've also got the 12 volt up here that runs all of the lights and electronics but, <clears throat> that are 12 volt on here, which I prefer doing instead of um, splitting off of one of the batteries and having to disconnect the batteries and charge them individually, um, balance charge them. Uh, that's a waste of my time. <laughs> So, um, the old gas pedal I left in here, screw it, I don't really feel like moving it. Um, the new gas pedal, um, oh, you like that? Look at that. See, it barely moves. Or you can kick it. <coughs> it goes fast. And then you also got high gear, so. Look, that scared the shit out of him. Look at him. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, it's got two speeds. It's also got reverse, too. What I did was actually just uh, wire the speed controller into the power going into the stock shifter. So um, everything still works kind of the way it did from the factory, except now you've got a lot more control over the throttle. So when it's in low gear, you can press the throttle and it, it barely just inches along. It actually kind of hooks up. Second gear is crazy. It's like blow the tires off. Anyway, um, I like it a lot. It's pretty fun. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you guys a look at the wiring on the body. <clears throat> um, I kind of close everything back up in the stock tunnel, but <clears throat> the gas pedal just has a hole cut in the floor because the pedal actually extends through the floor. Uh, the pedal I found on Amazon, I think it's like 11 or $12 shipped to your door. And then the wiring for the actual speed controller and that. <clears throat> I just zip tied the speed controller uh, up underneath here and I uh, put a, a water tight connector on the TPS connection and I just used some of the battery connectors that I normally have just laying around here for the power into the motors and the power from the battery. Um, I spliced into the stock wiring, cut the old pedal out of the stock equation and ran the power wires from the battery directly to the controller and then from the controller to the switch for the shifter and then I left all the stock wiring from the shifter to the motors uh, intact. So it works as 24 volt now, it's got variable throttle control on it, uh, nice LED lights and the pedal's been moved so it actually fits her. I think she'll be stoked. Um, everything worked out pretty well and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how she likes it. You'll probably see a video on Wednesday of uh, possibly doing some rats in the snow. So. Uh, keep you guys posted. Stay tuned.